What's up YouTube? It's Zapdo, it's TCG here and thanks for tuning in for our TCG battle video. Today we are going to play with the Garchomp from the Forbidden Light set. As you all know, in the Ultra Prism set we got this Dragon type uh, Garchomp which was actually kind of neat with Royal Blades dealing a lot of damage. This time around we're going to pair it with the Fighting type which will be uh, our main attacker here, Royal Blades together with a strong energy can deal up to 220 damage which is able to one shot almost anything in the format. Also a good thing is that there's a lot of big basic attackers in the format, think about Ultra Necrozma GX, think about Boswell GX, which we automatically one-shot because uh, we don't even need damage modifiers. So uh, there's even three choice bats in here because sometimes Lucario can pack quite the punch. We are going to run one copy of Lucario GX. And we also have the uh, Pregnificative Aura uh, Lucario from Ultra Prism to get our Pokemon or actually anything we want out of the deck if a guard jump is in play. So uh, we can also maybe play uh, some Gibbles uh, that are a fighting type, but I do prefer these. If we can give it an energy, boom, we're straight off and uh, we can just, uh, just retreat if uh, with that amazing ability rock hiding which can be a uh, kind of crucial just to promote a Vulpix and off you go you don't even need to rely on floatstone with that so I do like that strategy escape rope also an amazing option to just switch around because uh, you always want to use Cynthia and uh, that's why there's only two Guzmas in here but four copies of the uh, famous Cynthia are in the deck because we want to spam Cynthia and there's two copies of Vulpix in here because I do enjoy uh, using beacon turn after turn uh, to get everything out and uh, two Tapu Lele of course we have Bridget in the deck and now we do rely on strong energy to get uh, more damage on off so uh, that's what we're gonna play with today hopefully it'll work out and uh, Garchomp Lucario is one of those niche decks that you don't see very often, but it could actually work because, as mentioned, it uh, does the damage where it needs to go. Uh, 200 damage, one-shotting almost anything in the format. If we got a strong energy equipped, it's even better. We're kind of weak to uh, things like Enhanced Hammer and maybe Zerg Tree, but we also have regular basic energies in our deck. So uh, that could be uh, kind of neat, I guess. Let's go straight into the, the video here. And uh, we are facing, presumably, Boswell. Boswell is one of those uh, popular Pokemon that uh, attempt to uh, just uh, spam here on the TCG Online program. Where I already faced a bazillion Boswells, but uh, I'm always uh, ready to eat some more. We are gonna go first because we are a setup deck. We did need a lot of setup to be honest. So uh, let's see what we start with. Nothing at all. The opponent will say, "Ooh, that guy has a Garchomp. He's playing Garchomp Lucario." And uh, hopefully it'll turn out alright. I cannot promise you guys that we will win this matchup. But I am going to do my other best to just show you Lucario with Garchomp. Hopefully we start with a Vulpix. Or yeah, one of the Gibbles. One of the Gibbles. I'll take that gladly. We do run four rare candies. So starting with this is uh, not as bad as it might seem. The first thing he can do is Jet Punch away. Our uh, Pokemon do have 60 HP. So that could be kind of devastating. He also gets one Mulligan. We can Ultra Volt Tapu Lele for a Sycamore. Uh, actually, Ultra Volt Tapu Lele for a Bridget could be the case. We don't even need Choice Band as mentioned, and uh, that way we can get everything out. I think that is the, the correct strategy here. We're not afraid of... Uh, yeah, maybe we're gonna leave Choice Band in the hand. Do we do that? Field Blow. As mentioned, we don't need Choice Band at all, so I'm gonna get rid of it. And also, we gotta get rid of the Field Blower, because I do think he's gonna slap a Float Stone onto his Tapu Lele, which we can at least... Uh, get rid of. So let's get rid of those and get our Tapu Lele on the field. So uh, one Tapu Lele, one Vulpix is something I am uh, definitely gonna get out. And uh, let's see what is priced. All our Garchomps are in here, all our Lucarios are in here, the Lelys are in there. Four rare candy, which is a huge plus here. And uh, there's actually what is priced, I am not very sure. Three Cynthia's are in there, that's neat. There's an. Uh, what about Riolus? All in there. How about the Gibbles? All in there. So wow, not a lot of crucial things priced. Let me check. Uh, I do think my Floatstone is priced. So that is definitely not great news. So let's grab ourselves the Bridget and also check. I do think our Floatstone is priced. Yeah, Floatstone is priced. So we have to be uh, wary of that. Also one Strong Energy price, one DCE price. Yeah. Let's just uh, roll with that. We already have a kind of a knowledge of what is priced. We're going to slap out on the Bridget. And with this, let's grab ourselves Riolu, Riolu, Gibble. Do we need a Lolan Vulpix? That is the main question I want to ask myself since we do plan on using Sycamore next turn. Maybe we can set up with uh, the Alolan Vulpix, although we don't have a basic energy to retreat, so that would be kind of crazy. I do, I do predict we're gonna get a, a one shot KO here, so let's just grab those from the deck. Poof, here they are. And we will slap down a DCE. Do we slap a DCE down? Yeah, on little Gibble, maybe he can attack next turn. Let's just do it like this. I do predict a one-hit KO, even though if he, he can also... Yeah, if he gets a one-hit KO, 
we might just already do some damage because Garchomp does have a huge amount of HP. Wow, here comes the, the Rainbow Rare Buzz Wall. Here it is. Strong energy as well. He's our oh, Ultra Ball. Bunch of reverse shenanigans here. And uh, we're going to see 50 damage with the Jet Punch. 70 damage with the Jet Punch. So he can actually target anything he possibly wants. And uh, there goes the, the presumed... <laughs> he has a Cynthia. We don't. Unfortunately, we're going to have to rely on some other strategies. So here comes the Jet Punch. And there's going to be 30 on that Gable. Of course, there's 30 on that Gable. Hmm. Okay, we're gonna promote this one, otherwise he will just uh, destroy it anyhow. We're gonna have a Vulpix, which is neat. Let's slap that Vulpix down, feel blow away, everything that is in play. Boom! And we will go with a Sycamore. Hopefully we draw into a Gabite, would be nice. We have a Rare Candy and an Ultra Ball and an Energy and a Choice Band. We can actually pack quite a punch here. Let's do that. Let's get rid of a Bridget. Let's get rid of the Guzma. Nah, we're gonna send you our later to deal a bazillion amount of damage. Let's get rid of the Guzma. And we are gonna grab ourselves the almighty Garchomp. The Garchomp has a lot of HP, so I don't think he will be able to one-shot that anytime soon. So we are gonna use the rare candy. Next turn we can even deal more damage. Because we have Cynthia in the hand, and for now I think 100 damage is nice. We, we might just stop deck an Ultra Ball to get everything out of the deck if we want. So I'm not gonna attach that Choice Band when it's not even necessary. So uh, 100 damage it is, so uh, flat one, 100. Bam! So Garchomp comes out on our uh, second turn, which is awesome. Vulpix is in there. I don't know why I even benched the Vulpix. Maybe if uh, our Garchomp goes down miraculously, we can maybe set up with that beacon to just come back from that devastating attack. We are all one prize attacker, so that is also a great news. Royal Blades, that's 200 damage. Okay, here comes another strong energy, that is 90 damage, 90 damage. Okay, jet punching away, cool. This is gonna turn out per terrific. So, uh, choice band, one from Riolu. I think this one needs to evolve right now, so in this situation, this one will go down next turn. I'm gonna give a choice band to the Gibble and a choice band to one of the Riolus. Well, we just Cynthia away and see what we get. We get a rare candy. Oh wow, we get everything we possibly want here. So another Garchomp shows its face. Boom! Not gonna, gonna go down without a fight. Uh, yeah, in that situation, we can rely on... I'm gonna do something differently. We're gonna save up our Garchomp for next turn. We are gonna use Pregnificative Aura to get ourselves Lucario GX because we can attach an energy and just smack around with our uh, Lucario. I think I'm gonna go with this strategy because with this, he needs to rely, of course, on Guzma and uh, he cannot one-shot our Lucario GX, so he needs a lot of things in the hand. Now we even have a uh, Rescue Stretcher. Maybe an attachment to this one would have also been fine, but you know how it goes. Aura Strike! Lucario! Poof! Now he definitely needs a Guzma. Definitely. Okay, what do we get? Cynthia and an energy. Okay. Okay. Bad news is he can jet punch and this one will get knocked out. But if he jet punches, we can rely, of course, on our Cantankerous Beatdown GX because we will have damage on ourselves as well. Let's see how it goes. He has Diancia in play, so at least 50 damage is coming on uh, off on that Pokemon. Okay. There are gonna be a lot of energies on the Baby Boswell. He's gonna go for the Baby Boswell here. More B-string. Wow, two B-strings in the hand. How crazy is that? And the Choice Band. We don't see Brooklyn Hill, so at least we don't see a Boswell coming up. Maybe he also has a Supporter in hand. I don't even know if this was the, the correct strategy, but at least our Garchomp is safe on the bench. And he goes with the Guzma. Definitely gonna go after that uh, Garchomp here. Okay. Boom. That was to be expected. Our Garchomp would have uh, been uh, knocked out regardless, so at least that gives us a bit of room here. We need a KO this turn, so how much, da how much damage do we do? 50, 70, 70. That's not enough. Let's just promote our free retreater and see how we go from there. This is not cool. Not cool indeed. Okay, we can get anything out of the deck that we possibly want. We can get a Lele. Let's just slap down a Gibble for now. We also have Rescue Stretcher to get back our uh, Guard Jump. We have a strong energy. This one is limited at a lot of damage. He can deal a lot of damage, to be honest. What will we do about that? 
Let's use Pregnificus Aura here. You can also slap down a strong energy and start attacking. How much damage do we do? 30 damage. That is 50 damage. Maybe we can target this Lele. That way he's stuck in the active. But he will come back with a Boswell. But this Boswell is limited at 100, 120, 150, 170. He can never ever KO our uh, Lucario GX. So in that regard... I think I'm just fine by giving an energy. Let's use Pregnificant Aura first. Let's see what else might be left in the deck that we possibly can use. We have Escape Rope. Yeah, with Escape Rope we can uh, force something to come on the active. Cool. What else might we possibly grab? We only have one Guzma left. That is not cool. We can end the opponent to four cards. That is also an option. I think I'm gonna end the opponent to four cards. I know we get end as well, but we can get back everything because we have a Lucario in play. And with this, let's give a strong energy onto our Lucario. And uh, we will go with the N in this situation. Don't know if this was the correct play. Don't even know at all. But we are gonna save our Lucario for next turn and just rely on the beacon. And uh, next turn we just demolish him with the Cyclone Kick, so that is cool. So uh, we just use beacon, getting out a guard jump and whatever, something else. We're not gonna attack this Boswell just yet. He can take this one prize card. Dun -dun -dun. What is he gonna do? Rely on all the Guzma could be the case. But this little Boswell doesn't even matter too much. We are at uh, a lot of damage actually. Choice Band with 2 is a, a multiplier of actually a modifier of 70. 70 with that. We can one shot Boswells right now. So I think we're gonna go after the G axis instead of uh, just uh, playing around with this baby Boswell. Here comes Tapu Lele. Here he comes. Gonna go for Guzma. Definitely. But he also needs a Floatstone. We end them. So okay, he's gonna go for Cynthia. So no Guzma, little Vulpix will go down, not that we matter too, it doesn't matter at all. Definitely, okay. Energy, Field Blow, or oh, a Choice Band goes away, actually two of them, three of them and the discard. We are at 170 damage right now. Okay, we have the Guzma in hand, so we're kinda cool. Here we go. Wow, a lot of stuff here. First things first. Uh, we are already at 170, but we need another energy. So let's just evolve slowly. There we go. And we will Guzma out this Lele. Ta-da! And I think we are gonna have another Lucario next turn, so that is awesome. And now we're just gonna use Pregnificant Aura once again. Now what will we need? In this situation we need an energy. Do we attach a strong energy? That way it's gonna be crazy. We're at 20, 40. That is 170. Wow, that is crazy. This Lucario is just gonna pack wow, so much damage here. So let's get that strong energy. Don't think he runs Enhanced Hammer anyhow. And uh, we are gonna explode on this Tapu Lele. With a Cyclone Kick for 190. Now if a Buzzwall shows up, we just destroy it. Boom! We got a Vulpix and a DCE. Cool. And it looks like we only have two Guzmas in the discard. I don't know how many Guzmas he thinks we are playing, but uh, this baby Boswell is uh, eh, is going down definitely. And he still needs three more prize cards, so we can't go unless he targets something else. How many Guzmas does he have in the discard? Only one. Oof. Here comes Boswell. This one is the one we want to destroy. Energies. Oh, it's a beast energy. And an N as well. Don't ever want to see that. Maybe felt that would be a nice inclusion. Or oh, escape rope. That's a nice answer. Escape rope. If he just wants to stall with a basic Pokemon, we can just use escape rope here. We have free retreat. Choice bank coming on, and uh, he's going to swing around for. Wow. Oof. That is a lot of damage. 170. 170 damage. Oof. 
Okay. That is definitely not good. We one shot this. We're gonna put on Lucario ne Garchomp next, so I think we're kinda good giving this one a DCE. Using Prignificant Aura for. Hmm. Do we get out another Garchomp? I don't think so. We just needed a Lucario. And then we're good. Unless he one shots almost anything with a Jet Punch, I don't think that will be possible, but you never know. Okay, if we use this, we can get another. Yeah, with Prignific of Aura, we can even get out another Garchomp here. So we're kind of set for the match. Two Garchomps in play. We have the Cynthia in hand. If we use Escape Rope, we can one shot one of those, but this little puzzle needs to go down a set. So let's go with the. <laughs> we want to use the GX move. Yeah, let's use it. I want to see how much damage Lucario can dish out, and that's gonna be 570. Oof. That is crazy. And here is a little float stone. So uh, Lucario will go down. And everything has evolved, so I don't think he can jet punch his uh, way to victory. So we're cool, we're cool. I think this is game. We have uh, everything we can get out from the deck. Even the Sycamore won't save him. We even have escape rope and uh, we can use Cynthia, so it's kind of in the bag. Unless he just miraculously does something crazy. Here comes Remoraid. So as you see, we beat even the best decks in the format with lists like this. Okay, jet punch coming around. And he already knows this is in the bag because we have the Cynthia in hand and now uh, we can just give an energy, even go overboard. Here goes Garchomp. So the Lucario Jax, definitely a nice inclusion in this list. What will we need? Uh, Prognificative Aura, that's so amazing that uh, ability. Let's get the strong energy. What else might we possibly need? I think this is it. The only thing we need is a strong energy and off we go. Actually, a regular energy would be fine as well. But you know how it goes. Let's go, Cynthia. And now we deal 200 damage. And that buzz wall will definitely go down after that. So, Garchomp showing the might. Royal Blades. Ladies and gentlemen, that was for you. Garchomp with Lucario. Definitely very uh, fine list, as I uh, mentioned here. Uh, let me know what you think about the list. What would you change in the list? Have you uh, played with it so far? Garchomp, definitely don't sleep on it. It's definitely one of the best rogue decks in town. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like. You know, I always appreciate that. And it gives me the support to make more and better videos for you. Anyhow, I will see you guys tomorrow with more Pokemon TCG content. Subscribe for more. Peace out.